So primer sessions are all about improving your explosive uh, ability as well as your strength. So think, think movements like acceleration. So your first three steps on game day, your ability to jump. So how much power you can put into the ground. And then from a strength point of view, contested situations. So tackling, uh, fending off, um, or just maintaining your legs on the field. So being able to stand your ground. The objective of today is to improve your readiness to perform well, specifically in the first quarter. So um, on game day, as long as you've well recovered, what happens second, third, and fourth, um, the primer session won't necessarily have a direct effect with, but how you start, um, particularly the first 10 minutes, um, the primer session can influence. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of different ways and the research is um, got a lot of different options out there, but what's really consistent is we want primer sessions to be low volume, so they shouldn't take a lot of time. You definitely should be leaving the session with more energy than when you started. They're power type resistance um, movements, so think fast explosive movements. They're not slow, um, they're, they're power based. Um, and we want to ultimately improve our performance the next day. So you shouldn't feel fatigued from the primer session the next day. You should feel enhanced from it. So it's making you better. So session type is key. You want to make sure that if you're doing it um, to improve your strength, then you're lifting at above 80% of your one rep max. So if you bench press 100 kilos, you're lifting up to 80 kilos and above. So you might lift up to 90 kilos on the bench press if you're focusing on a strength benefit. And if you're doing your velocity-based movements, we want to keep the weight really, really light. So we're moving as, as explosive as possible. So think medicine ball, um, think your body weight movements. Okay. The other aspect, so you've got speed-based players, you've got your aerobic power-based players. So for here, we want to think like high-intensity intervals. So for those that um, like wingers that run a lot of high-speed distances on game day, and they like to tap into that, um, and get a bit of a sweat on the day before a game to feel like they've done some work leading into it from a mental point of view. And they also feel like it feels better for them physically. They might do an aerobic power-based session on the bike. So 20 seconds at a, at a relatively high speed with 40 seconds recovery in between would be an example for, for 10 minutes, let's say. 